Okay, so here we are in round two, and we are on the draw. And I think I will keep this hand pretty uneventful, but with the travel prep and the Orchard Spirit plus Unruly Mob, I'm feeling okay about it. Oh, I guess I was on the play. My opponent must have decided to draw first, which is fine for us, too. I'm assuming he's blue-white mill, then, if he wants to be on the... or No, because then he would want us to be on the draw, so I don't know why he wants to be on the draw unless he's... Maybe he's blue-white mid-range spirits. Oh. So now I'm actually utterly confused as to what it is. We'll swing in here. We'll play our spirit, and we'll pass turn. All right. Well, what can he do? He can brimstone volley the orchard spirit in response to the second travel prep. I think I'll hold off on travel prep until I've got a maybe a wider creature base set up. We'll see if he wants to kill anything. I'll keep the slayer open in, in case he's playing like tormented pariah. Is he Heretic's punishment dot deck? I don't understand. So we'll swing here. I just I don't like seven cards in hand and not playing anything on turn four. It leads me to believe that you have a really good removal suite. So I'm just I'm not playing into the Dine Reckoning either. I think I'm just good sitting here. Okay, well, I'm glad we stuck to holding this. And yes, I will be using this ability, thank you. Kind of, it does make me afraid of like what else he's holding. If his earliest play was a five drop and he was okay with keeping this hand, I mean, I don't understand. I guess unless he has highly restrictive removal or something like that. I mean, it's not like any of my creatures are amazing, so maybe he just didn't think they were worth removing. Harvest firing something, probably the mob. Yep. So the problem is he's got restrictive removal in his hand, it looks like. Doom Traveler, okay. Okay, well, I think I'll just swing in. Uh, do I bring everybody? Yeah, let's bring everybody in, and we'll see what happens. Well, we'll at least
least get the morbid trigger. I think we might end up blasting his face with the blazing torch though. So he... See this is one of the reasons I don't like to take more than one harvest fire and play with it. Unless you're self mill. That being the sole exception. It's just... It's way too much of a liability if you get them both in your hand. Alright, well, we didn't have to show him our travel prep or our blazing torch or anything like that, so... That's good news for us. Um, what did he even have? <sighs> he had bad removal and a giant vampire. I don't know. Nothing. He got mana screwed too, so we'll see. So he's again choosing to draw and this is a keepable hand, for sure. Okay. Reckless Weave? No. That's not what his deck is, I don't think. Not Reckless Weave. I don't know. Alright, so we of course are crossing our fingers for two lands and then we'll be set. I uh, ideally it'd be a white and a green, but oh, so he was color screwed. Yeah, I'll use that. Okay. All right, we want to get our air force online as soon as possible. Hopefully he doesn't have Geist Flame. Or, or that. That would really suck. Hmm. Play that. No, that really stinks. Ouch. Okay. It's one of those joys of magic online and being able to misclick. So now he gets to slaughter our voiceless spirit. And we just bank on getting land. that was coming. Not surprised. Unfortunately, Daybreak Ranger kind of shuts down our sub-strategy. Alright. Well, we need to cast a spell. tap that down and we'll swing with unholy fiend we need to just be sure that all of our hits are connecting as much as possible and at this point I'm okay with chumping a Keswick wolf forcing him to use his mana or whatever and yeah he can flip the daybreak but if he swings with it then that's not an issue either but we really really need to land
long as he keeps committing, I'm okay with that. The ranger is by far a bigger threat because of the fighting on the back. Thank you. Take that out. Um, yes, I do wish to use that ability. And at this point, we'll just be defensive. Yes, we take a damage, but we were going to take that damage no matter what. He wants to flip his guys. It's fine. So we can deal four, eight, ten here. Put him on extreme defensive. And we'd be able to we wouldn't be able to cast two spells. But we can cast the Mausoleum Guard and do the same thing next turn and tap down something. And actually, I think I'll just. No. I'll take the damage from my Unholy Fiend this turn. And then I'll tap down the or Gat Staff Howler, excuse me, during his combat step. So I wonder if he's getting, like, white hose now. And that really sucks for him, unfortunately. Oh, wow. That also sucks for him. Um... I will... Cast Spare from Evil. And then we'll declare our attack. We'll see if he wants to remove anybody. If not, then we do this. Alright, and that is round two, and we're on to the finals now.